Well, not the usual case of vandalism. A San Fernando Valley man believes he was, in fact, targeted because of a Hillary Clinton bumper sticker. Okay, Kaldine Tanner for GE got the victim side of the story tonight and joins us now live from Studio City with more. Well, Jeff and Susie, this car was parked right here along the Studio City Street last night, along with many others. But it was the only car that was vandalized last night. And the owner thinks it's all because of who he's voting for. When Jim Reif Snyder Smith started his SUV Monday morning, he was surprised to find glass everywhere. Looked in the rear window to back up, and, uh, and there was a giant hole there. He'd parked it on the street Sunday night, along with many other cars, but his was the only one touched. There was nothing stolen, there was nothing uh, taken from the car, um, and even though there was stuff to be taken. When he filed a police report, he says he was told other cars were also vandalized, but several blocks away, and his vandalism appeared to be different than the others. So Jim says he believes he was targeted for his support of Hillary Clinton and a sticker that indicates he has a same sex family. I can't help but think that we were singled out. Just because we're two days before the election and, uh, and, and tempers are running really high. He now worries about his family's safety, but doesn't want to be forced to take down his political signs. You have to be visible and you have to speak out about what you believe in. Now, Jim says he is no stranger to vandalism, political vandalism, that is. Back in 2008, he says his tires were slashed after he parked in front of a yes on Prop 8 home. And on his car was a no on Prop 8 sticker. Jeff and Susie, back to you.